hello my love and welcome welcome back to my channel let us get right into this tutorial this is me putting on a young show showcasing how my skin looks this is how you want your skin to look before you start your makeup and i start with my brows i typically do soap brows so i take a bar of some light soap a spoolie and i wet the soap a bit and i just brush my brows up as you see me doing in this clip this really helps give my brows definition for cheap okay i have soap brows with an actual bar of soap get into it babe I started color correcting and I haven't gone back. I do this now because my under eyes are so dark and so is the area on my mouth. So I typically color correct those every time I am doing my foundation routine. This just gives me a cleaner look. And not that the look isn't clean when you don't get full coverage, but I just prefer full coverage. And so this just helps my foundation sit on my skin really really well and i use a really light brush to blend this in because i don't want the brush to steal all the product Now, very lightly with my brow pencil, I fill in my brows. This is a really fun and easy process because your brows are already defined because of the soap. Get into it, sis. And so the filling in is really easy. As you can see, I can see where the blank spaces are and I just go in there with the pencil and it gives my brows such great definition. Then with the concealer in the shade Toffee from LA Pro Girl what, Pro Conceal, I think, I go in and I just define my brows even further with the concealer. Also, side note, this isn't something I do all the time. I just do this when I really, really want that definition. And I guess I wanted it today. <laughs> Guys, I cannot even tell you where I got this palette. It doesn't have a real brand name. It's just a palette I picked up at China Mall. And babe, can I tell you about these concealer shades they give? So I take a shade that is close to my skin tone and I just go in over the color corrector again because I really want my under eyes to be bright. I love a bright under eye. And so I'm just going in with the concealer and I am concealing that part of my eye because I really want the concealer to sit then I'm taking my foundation I have been searching for a foundation that gives me full coverage and my 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 espresso by fit me Maybelline has done the job I love this foundation I really do recommend it if you are my skin tone because it gives okay and i use a brush to apply my foundation and i put foundation on the brush and then i put it on my face this is because i don't want to use excess product because my foundation brush already has foundation for my previous makeup application so i never put a lot of foundation on my brush and i find that this gives me a really airbrushed look just look at the difference the foundation like look 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 for yourself i can't give you a testimony without the truth it just gives me great 
coverage and the shade fits me so well next i go in with my concealer in the shade toffee i really really love this shade and i just draw out my cat eye i say this every time i do my makeup this is never going to change i love a catty makeup look really i love when my makeup is sitting in the middle and i love when my makeup looks like i'm giving an attitude yep i said it <laughs> i love makeup that makes it seem like i am giving an attitude i just feel like it's really boom and out there and that's what i'm into so i blend my concealer with my concealer brush this is a tip that i learned from uche natori i'm sure a lot of people who watch makeup tutorials know her but she brushes first and then she goes in with a blender and this has changed the game okay it has changed my makeup game so much blending your concealer with a brush first because brushes don't move the product you move the product with the brush beauty blenders go in after the brush because they absorb the product and that's really what you want you don't want the first blend to be absorbed by the blender so pro tip use a brush Thank you very much. I got one of these, um, I don't even know what you call them, face puffers from Shein and came in a pack of five. It was my first time using this and let me tell you, babe, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. And I have started to set my face with loose powder instead of the heavy powder because i just feel like loose powder is easier to control when you are having to blend it i haven't experienced flashback since i started using this method so i do recommend it if you're a dark skin girl use loose powder it really makes a world of difference To blend the powder, well to brush the excess powder away, I use a brush that has really loosely fitted strands and I do this because you want a light, a really, listen to what I'm saying, you want a light brush, not a heavy brush that's going to move the makeup on your face, you want one that's just going to gently lift up the powder to the point where you will not get flashback and so take this tip babe and i started to set my face first before i put my contour on because i just feel like once the contour is on my face it gives more definition after i have already set my face with the loose powder One thing I've changed about my makeup is that my nose contour isn't as sharp as it used to be. I mean, the nose contour is really there and you can see it, but it's more subtle now. I, I, I'd like to believe that it's more subtle. And I give myself a button every time I do my nose now because I just feel it suits me and I like how it looks on me and it's really cute. So try give yourself a button nose the next time you contour your nose. I promise you it's worth it. blush this has got to be my best friend as a dark skinned woman okay i will forever stand for blush on our skin as a dark chocolate babe my love grab that blush and do not be afraid to apply it it just looks so beautiful on our skin and it just gives so get with the program babe 
so after I apply my blush with a brush I go in with a sponge just to take off the excess and this burgundy ball that has been through uh, quite a bit I take this because it has really bright golden colors and I'm just putting this in the corner of my eye because I want to define my eyes and of course lining my waterline I do this because it really makes my eye stand out look at that don't play with her and of course some mascara I haven't been applying lashes like I am here for the mascara game and I set my face after I'm done with everything and yeah onto the lip combo For my lips, I use the same pencil that I use for my brows. I just feel like I'm not going to spend money on a lip pencil if it's going to have the same function as the brow pencil. You feel me? So I overline my lips because again, I've said this a hundred times, I like to make my lips look bigger than they actually are. Okay? It just gives. And I line my lips to my desired shape and I shade the outsides as much as I like then I am taking this pink lipstick and applying it on my lips I usually use eyeshadow for lipstick but I'm I'm trying to invest in my lips and I actually didn't like how the pink looked so I took some concealer to brighten up my lip a bit and my lip gloss boom boom pal here is the finished look I looked so beautiful I loved this look if you liked it please be sure to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye